quickly uh, introduce, you know, what is the origin of a data mesh? So in the, you know, early 80s, early 90s, people, business units got equipped with uh, transactional systems with uh, automation, basically, that was able to capture a lot of transactional data to store it into their environment for transactional purposes. Now, as soon as the data was in those systems, they also started extracting that data for analytical processes, because at the end, that's what people wanted to know. What did I do? Where do I go from? They want to steer the organization based on the transactions that were in the transactional systems. And not only the, um, the data was extracted for local use in the specific business unit it was deployed to, but also you saw very quickly that people started to interchange these documents, these data sets in between other uh, business units in the company. And it became what we typically call the Excel help. People started creating extracts from files, sending out Excel files left and right through shared file systems or through emails. And it was a, you know, it's what we call data chaos. No one had a view on what happened. If there's something changed in something, no one could backtrace it and could solve it. So late in the 90s, early uh, year 2000, and then still today, actually, um, people uh, started implementing uh, a big data type of platforms where we all moved everything to a centralized system. And it's what they call the data centric approach. Uh, people talk about data lake, big data platforms. And, and obviously there's a, a golden age that was there where uh, platforms like Hadoop were known for, for putting all the data in where basically every in each business unit puts their data into the data centric, into the data lake. And then people were using uh, interfaces to get the data out. But because of the decent decentralization and the, the change of ownership from the business to IT to all of these processes, it's becoming a large and used process to build and uh, uh, maintain it. And it also introduced a, a slowliness and, and, and not easy to respond to quick changes into the business. So that was the challenge we saw often when uh, implementing big data lakes uh, platforms that, you know, moving it from the business into a central managed environment. Um, it was centrally managed, but it came with some disadvantages. Now, based on that, the promise of data mesh, the next step in this evolution is, you know, can we not do a kind of combination between both of them and have some central governance body, which is not a good thing to do because obviously you, you move the business knowledge into a central knowledge, but can we set up some kind of harmonization in between the, the data centric parts and let's call it the data chaos part from before where we push the ownership and the data objects and everything back into the business domains and have a common ground of understanding on how they should interact with each other. And this is really what a data mesh is all about. 